our snake room and today we're going to be upgrading our patternless pine snake into a beautiful enclosure. Today's video we are collaborating with Zen Habitats. They sent us this incredible enclosure. It's four by two by two. It's PVC. It's going to be absolutely amazing. I'm super excited. So let's get started. What I love about this enclosure is that it was so simple to set up. It came labeled and with instructions and really the only thing you need is a rubber mallet. It was so easy. This enclosure is made out of PVC, so if I spill water, it's not a big deal. It also is lightweight and durable, and it holds in heat really well. This enclosure is four by two by two, but they do have other sizes available, smaller and larger. These enclosures can be used for a variety of different animals, snakes, bearded dragons and other lizards, tortoises, I even know somebody who uses it for their hedgehogs. So the rest of the setup is pretty easy. This is the part that sucks. <laughs> this is pretty hard to get off, but... Well, I did, I did an entire one and this thing in the time it took you to do this. I know. Just, just but saying. It works, I mean... With my big dumb gorilla hands. The plexiglass is, um, it had, doesn't have a single scratch on it, so this stuff definitely works. We're almost done. And then it's time to decorate. Okay, so we just finished setting up, and by we, I mean Chris. He set the entire thing for me, so thank you, baby. <laughs> and now my favorite part is to decorate, so we're gonna do that. Come take a look at this. This is so beautiful. What I love about it, instead of going like to pick up the snake through the top, which could be predatory, it opens from the front. There's also this piece, which keeps the substrate from overflowing, spilling out, getting stuck in the track. It's lightweight, but it's durable. It's PVC. So this is awesome. It's beautiful. Look at that Zen Habitat. So we're gonna set it up now, um, or finish setting it up. And I'm also gonna link my affiliate link in the um, description box. So if you guys wanna check them out, you guys can use that link. Um, definitely check them out. They have a variety of things. So yeah, let's do it. So for Cypress's habitat, I really wanted to go with something natural, like kind of like an Everglades theme. So I'm gonna put some Cypress mulch in and I got some live plants as well. Now we usually use Aspen. I know some people use paper towel or newspaper. There's a bunch of different substrates that you can use. There's pros and cons to every single one. I'm sure you can find something wrong with every single substrate that is used. Um, for this one, I decided to go with the Cypress mulch. So I got this little fern, it's so cute. And then I got this at Home Depot for like $20. Isn't that beautiful? So I guess we'll put that maybe like that. We'll put the fern over here, dip a little bit. I think that's pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. She also uses this to bath, so we'll get her a, a heat lamp and then her water dish. All right, so this is the final product. I absolutely love it. I feel, feel like it looks natural, it's beautiful, it's spacious. So now we can put her in. Very pretty, beautiful, patternless Florida pine snake. Really good looking animal. She's gorgeous. Hey, pretty girl. Are you ready to go explore? 
They're also very inquisitive, so they do burrow, they do explore, so I, I definitely wanted different things for her to use, different textures. Cypress is just exploring her new habitat. Um, I think she loves it. Oh, look. There she is. <laughs> Thank you so much, Zen Habitats, for sponsoring today's video, for setting us this awesome cage. What do you think? Yeah, I think it looks great, and uh, Snake looks pretty happy, so... Thank you so much to Zen Habitats. Yeah, and again, I'll put my affiliate link below, so if you want to check them out, definitely do that and use my link. Thanks for watching. Bye.